this shot looks really good hello guys and welcome back to the channel i'm tired of staying in the studio so today i'll be outside recording this video in this video i will be talking about my two years of using the panasonic lumix s5 let's go the Panasonic Lumix S5, a more compact and affordable version of the first S series of camera that Panasonic Lumix announced in 2019. The S5 came out in 2020. I got my unit in 2021. Like a lot of persons may debate that since Panasonic has released the Lumix S5 Mark II and also the Mark II X, the Lumix S5, the OG, the first generation of the S series is a bit redundant but in this video i'm gonna tell you guys why i think it's maybe a smart move to go and pick up the panasonic lumix s5 right now in 2023 let's go firstly a good reason to take up this camera is its price you can go get the panasonic lumix s5 on amazon or best buy or anywhere you buy photos bnh for at least sixteen hundred dollars even cheaper because i have a friend who bought his s5 back in july for only a thousand dollars pre-owned i got my unit back in 2021 with the 20 to 60 kit lens for two thousand two hundred dollars and that was a deal a sweet deal back then and even now if i had the opportunity if i had the extra cash i would go pick up an extra s5 i know there's the s5 mark ii and also the s5 mark ii x but those are for two thousand and two thousand two hundred dollars respectively so getting the s5 first generation at a very affordable price would help you to save some money and maybe get a lens i do apologize for the noise i am next to the main road and it's very noisy there are cars passing every second let's continue so if you're new to the channel i talk a lot about filmmaking photography especially with my panasonic lumix s5 and if you're regular to the channel you know i talk about my panasonic lumix a lot i am a real og panasonic user because my first mirrorless camera was a panasonic lumix g7 i had a nikon dslr but i needed a mirrorless camera for the great video capabilities because i do videos more than i take photos a lot of persons may argue that get the s5 mark ii or the s5 mark ii x but i don't see that much of an upgrade to go ahead and spend the extra to get the s5 mark ii or the s5 mark ii x over the lumix s5 first gen which is going very cheap currently you could buy the s5 instead of the mark ii and go get a lens even though if you're a content creator the s5 mark ii would make more sense because it is using phase detect autofocus and it's a very good autofocus compared to the autofocus we have on the original s5 I can't deny that fact. If you're a photographer, it's a no-brainer. I definitely tell you to go get the S5 compared to the S5 Mark II. Unless you want to spend the extra, if you have the extra to spend, to get the S5 Mark II or the Mark II X with the little upgrades in the specs and the extremely upgraded autofocus. The autofocus on the S5 first gen isn't terrible or not usable at all because right now I'm using my S5, it's on autofocus, human tracking, and I'm using the Sigma 24mm f2 DNBG lens. And the Sigma lens, this 24mm prime, isn't as fast as my Lumix lenses as it relates to autofocus, but right now as you can see it's not doing a terrible job it's tracking me on the screen i'm not sure if i'm in focus but let's hope for the best like i'm losing daylight fast because it's about 6 20 where i'm at but let me continue with this video quickly <sighs> all right so let's say you make videos you take photos and you want to upgrade from your iphone or your samsung or whatever device it is that you're using to make videos to a full frame mirrorless camera the s5 is giving you open gate um, 6k you can record externally to an external recorder like the atomos ninja external recorders the black magic external recorder um, you're getting 10 bit internally you're getting one up to 180 frames per second in s and q mode you're getting time lapse you're getting time code for all those 
professional videographers, you're also getting shutter angle instead of just using shutter speed whenever you're recording videos. So those are pro features. You have waveform, you have histogram, all those stuff built into the camera that professional videographers use. And this camera, when it just came out, it was like $2,000. You can get it cheaper now, new or even pre-owned, $1,600, $1,000 pre-owned. So this is a sweet deal to take up right now, the Panasonic Lumix S5, compared to all the new cameras that are coming out because it's holding up extremely well. It's punching a lot for its price point, even in 2023, three years after it has been released. My battery is dying. I'm gonna switch my battery real quick. Oh, this sunset looks so well. It's making my skin even look orange. <laughs> Let's continue this video. Even though I am a full-time Lumix user, there are cons with my S5. It's not the perfect camera, even though I love it so much. The number one flaw with the camera is the contrast detect autofocus. It's not the most reliable. It works like right now, it's working completely fine, thankfully, but it's not the most functioning autofocus when compared to Sony or Canon's autofocus system. Obviously, Lumix fixed this with the S5 Mark II and Mark II X, in which they added phase detect autofocus, and that is superb autofocus. But on the S5 Mark I, you have contrast detect autofocus, and that's a bit jinky compared to the S5 Mark II. Mark II and Mark II X autofocus or what Sony and Canon has to offer. Also, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but when you're taking photos with a trigger that triggers an external flash, it might be a bit laggy in dark scenarios. Like if there isn't any light or much light for the camera to focus on the subject, there might be a delay between you clicking the shutter button and the camera actually taking the photo. I don't know if that's a user error on my side or if that's how the camera is, but I've been noticing that issue since taking photos with a trigger over the years. But there are little to complain about with this camera, literally. A little stuff to complain about. The autofocus and that trigger issue I just identified. So it's, it's a steal in 2023. I love the fact that it has dual SD card slots. That's amazing. Not a lot of cameras in this price point comes with dual SD card slots. And if you used to use Canon EF lenses, and want to buy a mirrorless camera, you can always get an adapter and adapt to L-mount because the Lumix S5 is L-mount and L-mount has been breaking barriers with new lenses, new systems, and they have recently partnered with DJI. So you can expect extreme new stuff to be on the market very, very soon. So guys, it's getting very dark outside. The mosquitoes are eating me. I'm gonna wrap this video up. So yeah, go and buy the Lumix S5 if you can afford it. If you can spend a little more, go and get the S5 Mark II. I'm not sponsored by Panasonic. I just want you guys to have something amazing to use. Siobhan Beckford, your friendly Lumix shooter, <laughs> signing out. Ah. Mercy. Is filled with love. My heart is filled.